YouTube, how's it going? Jason here, just wanted to give an update. I've been home now for several days now. I kind of wish I didn't have to give these updates in bed. Um, but my back is still hurting. So this is like the most comfortable and I just took some painkillers. So I'm waiting for those to um, kick in. So I just wanted to give a little update. First off, I want to say a huge, huge thanks I didn't ask for it. You know, I, I did say in the last video, you know, if you guys can help share, you know, get my videos out there more so I can make some more money from ad revenue because it really, really helps me because I'm behind on rent and stuff. And quite a few of you gave super thanks and I wasn't expecting that. And it, first off, it means so much. You don't know how much that money will help. So thank you for everyone. Sorry, I almost dropped my phone there. So thank you for everyone that gave us super thanks. And if you can, it, don't feel like you had to or anything. For those who can't afford it, don't worry about it. But for those who did give super thanks, absolutely. Um, it brought tears to my eyes. It meant so much to me. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who did that. And, and thank you for all of you who just commented and said amazing things again. Your kindness and generosity and just love is beyond words. So thank you for that. Um, so I just wanted to give an update. So I'm here. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of a mess in here. Uh, in bed, they did send me with, I'll try to show it best I can. So I have a hospital bed. I mean, not as nice as the ones in the hospital, but I do have one that they gave me and sent home with me. So I have the little controller here to where I can go up and down. Oh, I can't go up too high because it starts to hurt my back, but I still sleep pretty much, you know, at an angle because laying flat hurts my back. So Gideon's here. He likes the new bed. Gideon. He's looking himself right now. And I wish I could turn this. I don't know if you can, I'll try to point. Boo Boo is right there in a little chair there. Laying over there. Yes, it is quite a mess in here. Like I said, I'm by myself. I have a roommate. Uh, she comes over and helps out every day and does things for me and gets my groceries and lifts the heavy things and helps clean up a little bit, but not as much as I would do if I was in good condition. You know, I like to keep things really nice, but I'm, I'm not complaining. She, she helps out a ton, but she works first shift. So during the day, uh, until like two in the afternoon, I'm kind of by myself unless, you know, my parents or someone stop over to help out with some stuff. I'll try to get at a good camera angle here. So, that's what's been going on home now. I like it better than being in the hospital for all that time. I go back. So what is today? Today is the 6th. I go back to the hospital on the 20th to start my next round of chemotherapy. I haven't heard how long I'm there. I originally told me I wouldn't be there as long these next few times. It's mainly I'm going there for the PACE treatment which I don't know what that stands for. I think they also call it, I went to check about getting radiation therapy yesterday and they're like, are you getting the red devil therapy? And she called my doctor. She's like, yes, you are. So I've never, no one else has, when I was at the hospital called it the red devil treatment. So I don't know if that's what PACE is called too, a terminology. It's basically an IV with this dark red bag that you can't really see the liquid in it that you get for basically four days straight. So that's the treatment I gotta go back for on the 20th. So I'm there for at least four days. I don't know if they're gonna keep me, you know, a few days after that just to keep an eye on me. So I'm I'm assuming maybe six days. As I get as we get closer, I'll let you know. I find out more information on that. Um so right now, it's just, as, and I have my bed here. 
set up. I got my fan, which is nice. If you don't have one of these, I don't have a link to it or anything. I just got it off Amazon. It can hook. You can wrap it around anything. I used to put it on my treadmill or my exercise bike. I took it to the hospital with me. I hooked it to the hospital bed there. I have it hooked here. It has three settings. It, you, it, I have it plugged in right now. That way it doesn't go dead on me, but you know, it charges and then you don't have to have it plugged in. I have my bed right here next to my window so I can open my shades and look out. I got my drinks and my medications, or some of them. The rest are over on the table there, a ton of them that I have to take, which gets tough sometimes. I mean, because man, it almost makes me want to throw up to taking all these medications. That's why I have my puke bucket next to me just in case, because some days are better than others. Or some days I just feel really nauseous and I can't drink anything. I can't eat anything. Um, so far, we'll see how today is. It's only, I think it's 9 in the morning. Sorry, I keep putting my finger in front of the camera. Um, so I'm on morphine, even though this isn't morphine. They gave me morphine when I left the hospital. And because my back, so I guess I have, the cancer has like made like tumors on the spine or next to the spine and kind of on the ribs too. And that's what causes me so much pain, like getting up and out of bed and just walking. And that's why I got to use a walker. Like it hurts so bad. So they were hoping the chemotherapy would help break those up a little bit. And before I even went to get chemotherapy, I was supposed to get radiation therapy and they were going to go in and like blast those. And that was going to get rid of them. So, but they saw how bad the the cancer was so they they're like no we we can't waste time on the chemo or the radiation we just got to get you in and do chemo so that's why i went in and did the chemo so quickly and they just sent me to radiation therapy the other day to to look at it and see if i was still in pain and they were going to do radiation but that's when they realized oh wait you're doing that pace treatment apparently radiation therapy and the pace treatment don't go together like um the radiation therapy would negatively impact the chemotherapy like i wouldn't get the benefits out of the chemotherapy because of the radiation so they don't want to do both so they now canceled the radiation therapy at least until i'm completely done with um chemo which i hope i'm not dealing with back pain for the next four months so i'm hoping the chemo can help break some of this up and get rid of some of this pain before then but so i'm between my radiation therapy not ready my chemotherapies i'm dealing with pain so i'm taking morphine for it but i ran out of morphine yesterday but i had a prescription called in for like 84 tablets and you know i'm I get an email saying, oh, it's delayed because of your insurance. Like, I have one pill left. I'm dying here. I'm in so much pain. And we call them. They're like, well, because how many pills it is, and I guess because it's, you know, a, nar a narcotic or whatever it is, like, the government, like, really cracks down on when you can get the morphine. So it's like, they're like, no, you got some when you left the hospital. That should last you till tomorrow. So the insurance company will not release those morphine tablets till tomorrow. So today I should finally get my morphine. But luckily I had uh, Norco, which I don't know if I called my nurse. and was like, hey, I have, she's like, yes, take those. I don't know if my doctor really wanted me on these. I don't know. I can't remember if they said I should still take Norco or not. But these seem to do a lot better than they did. These helped my back more than I think morphine did last night. Like, I wasn't in much pain at all last night. So I'll have to find out for my doctor if I can keep taking Norco or if I got to go back on morphine. Because, I don't know. The Norco seemed to work really, really well. Okay, so, uh, it other than that, so... Sorry, sometimes it's hard to get my thoughts together, too. So the cats 
Cats are good. They sleep. Until morning when they want to eat at 5 in the morning. Then they cry and cry and cry and wake me up. But Luckily, I have an automatic feeder, so I don't have to get up out of bed to feed them. Then the feeder gets them. And they have their automated uh, litter box. So that goes too. So then I just have my friend come over whenever, you know, to, to fill them up or empty them and stuff. So, so far it's been good. It's nice being home. Nice being able to have the hospital food. And somebody even did said, hey, you should do a review of the hospital food while you're there. The hospital food was actually better than I thought because I was at two different hospitals. Under the same brand, I guess you would call, or not brand a hospital, because they're both Trinity Health. One was Trinity Health in Muskegon. One was Trinity Health in Grand Rapids. So they're different hospitals, but under the same, you know, whatever you would call it, like owned by the same company, Trinity Health. And the menus were kind of the same, a lot of the same things on there, but I tried some of the things, but they tasted different. So that the second place where I was at longest, St. Mary's, the food was a lot better. I mean, there was some good food on there. Again, and it was a decent sized menu, but again, you know, having been there for 15 days, you start, you know, getting sick of some of those things. You know, you want to try some new stuff. So it's nice to be home. And I don't know if I mentioned in any of the other videos, or maybe you noticed I had really bad hiccups. And I did. I had hiccups for two to three weeks straight, like every day, nonstop. I had to start taking pills. And they couldn't figure out what it was. My thought was it had to have something to do with the cancer. Like whatever was building up in, in my body was causing the hiccups. Which I think it was because once I got on the chemotherapy, not right away, but like halfway through the chemotherapy um, while I was at the hospital, the hiccups went away and they haven't come back. I mean, yes, I just hiccup there, but as far as being really bad or constant, they've gone away so hopefully it, they're done because that sucked I mean it got to the point where I was hiccuping so much that my ribs would hurt like it would hurt to hiccup because it was getting so painful so we're getting long we're in 12 minutes so I'm gonna wrap this up so just again I want to say thank you to everyone that's commented thank you to all of you who gave super thanks again you don't know how much that means and it helps out because i sitting here looking and I mean I'm still sitting here looking you know like bills and stuff but it it helped out a lot more than it was you know every little I mean even some people are like oh, I can only give you five dollars or whatever my god that's way more than I ever expected anyone to give me so thank you for anyone that's done anything and again like I said even if you just gave comments Thank you. Cat hair everywhere. Thank you. And again, like, if, even if you just share the video or like the video, comment on the video, anything helps it, helps get the ad revenue up, helps me make a little extra money to pay for stuff. Um, man. I, and to go along with that, I think some people have mentioned, you know, have you filled up for disability? I've been trying, I called them, and I even had the lady on the phone. She's like, I'm like, I can't even log in to do disability. She's like, okay, I'll walk you through it. And she's walking me through it. And I'm like, okay, and it says, your social security number can't sign up for account. And she's like, I don't know what's going on. Like, she couldn't even figure it out. She's like, I tell you what, I'll set you up for appointment. They'll call you, and I think it's the 18th. They'll call and do the disability over the phone try to sign me up for it over the phone. So that's going on on the 18th. Then I'm back in the hospital on the 20th for the next round of chemo, which my radiation therapist or doctor yesterday is like, she's like, oh yeah, that's going to be the bad one. I don't know what she meant by that. I don't know if she meant just because it's chemo that it's bad or if the second round is going to be worse. She made me a little nervous on that one. I mean, this first one wasn't, horrible yes there's days of just feeling really nauseous and losing my appetite and stuff 
But I don't know what she meant by this second round is going to be... Oh, this is going to be a bad one. If you've known, if you've had cancer or have cancer and you've gone through, like, chemo, is the second round of it worse? I mean, was she just saying that? Did, she, did I miss interpret what she was saying by, oh, that's going to be a bad one? Or is she just saying, you know, oh, chemotherapy is going to be bad compared to radiation therapy? I don't know. If you know, leave it down in the comments below. Again, thank you to everyone that's commented. Thank you for even just watching the videos. And I will keep you updated on things going on. And I wish the cats were up. Maybe I can throw in some shots of some stuff. I'll see. All right. Thank you. And I will keep you guys updated on any new changes or anything that goes on. Love you all. Thank you. And have a good day.